Hi guys, um, this video is all about the types of bonds that non-metallic elements form with each other. So non-metal with non-metal and we're going to talk about what a covalent bond is. The only thing you really need to know in the syllabus statement is that when a metal bonds with a non-metal, that forms an ionic bond. That's what we talked about before. When a non-metal bonds with another non-metal, that forms a different type of bond, and they're called covalent bonds, and they work in a slightly different way. Now what we're going to do is we're going to play a game that I like to call ionic or covalent. I would like you to look at these six examples and decide whether you think that they contain ionic bonds or covalent bonds, just looking at whether they're made up of a metal and a non-metal, or a non-metal and a non-metal. So you're gonna need a periodic table for this, you're gonna pause the video, and for each one of these, you're going to decide what type of bond it forms. So pause now. Right, so here are your answers. NAF forms an ionic bond. Na is a metal, F is a non-metal, so that forms ionic bonds. SO2 forms a covalent bond. Both S and O are non-metals. MgBr2 is a ionic bond, magnesium being a metal, bromine being a non-metal. CO2 is a covalent bond, carbon and oxygen are both non-metals. LiCl is an ionic bond, lithium being a metal, chlorine being a non-metal. And lastly, Br2 is a bromine bonded to another bromine. Both of them are non-metals, so therefore they form a covalent bond.